Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to look at Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Follow along with me in your copy of God's Word as I read. A Psalm of David. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from the dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of evildoers, from the tumult of those who do iniquity, who have sharpened their tongue like a sword. They aimed bitter speech as their arrow, to shoot from concealment at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at, the, at him and do not fear. They hold fast to themselves an evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly. They say, who can see them? They devise injustices, saying, We are ready with a well-conceived plot. For the inward thought and the heart of men are deep. But God will shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they will be wounded. So they will make him stumble. Their own tongue is against them. All who see them will shake the head. Then all men will fear, and they will declare the work of God, and will consider what he has done. The righteous man will be glad in the Lord and will take refuge in him, and all the upright in heart will glory. In this psalm, David continues to call unto God in the midst of this oppression from his enemies. And, and really, this is a, a more specific oppression. He's talking about how they speak of him and they use their tongues, they use their mouths to devise plots against him. And he again appeals to the Lord for justice. And, and notice that again, he appeals for this justice, for the sake of God's name, so that all men will know and fear the Lord. He's not primarily concerned with his own self, but that all men will know and fear the Lord. And then he affirms that the Lord is a refuge to those who are righteous, to those who are upright in heart. So again, we see David in the midst of this agony, in the midst of this trial, in the midst of this deceit of his enemies, he is appealing to the righteous character of God and expressing his trust in God to bring justice. So friend, as you think about this psalm and how to pray, I want you to think about those who have maybe persecuted you or those who are causing you problems because of their tongues, because of the deceitfulness of their tongues, whether it be someone close to you who's speaking against you, or maybe someone generally who's speaking evil against Christianity or against Christians. In those situations, pray that the Lord would bring about his justice for the sake of his great name, so that all men will fear and know the Lord. And then, friends, just affirm your trust in him and your willingness to wait on him to bring that justice, knowing that he upholds the righteous, that all who put their trust in him will see his glory. Friends, this is a great psalm for a time of trouble and really for a particular trouble. When people speak evil against us, whether it's specifically against us or against Christians in general, we can trust knowing that the Lord is in charge and that the Lord will shoot their heart like an arrow, that he will bring about his justice and all who take refuge in him will see his glory. What an encouragement this psalm is today. And I pray that it guides your prayers as you think about those who speak evil against the bride of Christ. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.